Good morning. It is the end of August and I have started working on Halloween projects. Halloween is my favorite holiday. I made another flip book out of toilet paper rolls. So this time um, I used Halloween napkins. This is very, I did the same process that I did for the shelling um, booklet. So if you're interested in seeing the whole process, um, look at my videos. I have a, I made one out of shelling napkins. And then this one is Halloween. So the first napkin has little witch kitty on it. And then the other side, the napkin was um, a moon and a witch. Honestly, these napkins, I feel like I got them on clearance last year at Michael's. I, I haven't seen them this year. I, they were all from last year. Um, Halloween stuff is just rolling into the store. So I'm definitely keeping my eye out for good napkins. But so far, the only napkins I've seen have been cartoonish. Not something I'm really interested in. But I did love these napkins and I'm glad I had them. And you know what? It's funny because I bought them to actually use, not, you know, like their actual use for like a Halloween party because this was before I was into this whole decoupage junk journaling, but it worked out. I took them out of the kitchen and put them in my craft room. So anyway, so it is the Coptic stitch binding. I used some orange thread, uh, twine. I mean, this isn't like thread thread that you crochet with. This is, you know, the craft thread. Um, that you see in the junk journaling section so and then so just I'm gonna flip one side and so all these the little extra um, additions is the Tim Holtz Halloween ephemera so I just decoupage that on and then I took the cuddle bug and used an embossing folder that I got off of Amazon it's an embossing folder that looks like the classic Victorian um, wallpaper pattern with a skull in the middle and so I'm, I really love that, but it's probably hard to see in the camera. It just gives it more of a texture. So yeah, each one has, I just added like three little of these Tim Holtz ephemera. Decoupage that down. As you, I did decoupage it. My decoupage is very matte. Um, I make my own Mod Podge. I make my own glue. I just take Elmer's glue and I do like 60% glue and 40% water. Um, and I love it because I don't like the shiny look. A lot of people who use Mod Podge complain that it's too shiny even when they buy the matte version. So um, I make my own glue and I think it works great. I've never had a problem with my pages sticking together and humidity or anything. So, oh, sorry about that. I've been talking too long. Um, anyway, yeah, make your own Mod Podge if you have Elmer's glue lying, lying around. All it is is Elmer's glue and water. Uh, so you just add it. I do I do 60-40, but you go for the texture you like. I like a little more watery. Some people like it a little thicker, but it works out great. Um, keep flipping. Okay, so one side is the witch kitten, and then flip it over. It is the classic witch on, with the moon. And then, so sometimes I just focused on the witch, and then right here I focused on the moon. So, and then each... This is so cool. I love the sound of this book. All right, so each one has an insert or a tag. Um, I haven't like added a charm yet. I don't know that I'm going to. I kind of like this booklet as is. So the tag again, one side is the witch kitten and then the other side is the moon or the witch. So I did try to keep them in order um, and each one is just accented with my favorite Tim Holtz ephemera. So just a cute little, just a cute little booklet. And I do love this, the sound of that. <laughs> um, I actually am going to go to Michael's tomorrow again and buy more of this Halloween Tim Holtz ephemera, assuming they still have it. I just, looking through the little bags, I loved it. Um, I just want to have more. I want to spend the next two months making tons of Halloween junk journals because it is my favorite. My favorite holiday. And I do like the classic Halloween. You see how he, this is like, kind of reminds me of the classic Halloween. This witch is definitely like a 1960s vibe. And yeah. So there you go. There is my Halloween flip book. And that's it. I know I'm going to make more because I have saved every single toilet paper roll. I get my friends saving toilet paper rolls. I have an overabundance of toilet paper rolls. <laughs> And I just love the look of it. And I love being able to upcycle toilet paper rolls. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons. And I will see you later.